All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to um, actually fit uh, him for um, athletic shoes. Now, normally, you know, athletes can do this on their own. Uh, they have a good idea of kind of, you know, what type of shoes that they want to wear. So uh, generally speaking, there's just some kind of things that we want to be making sure that we're looking for and giving them some principles. Uh, first principle is, is that when you're fitting shoes, it's always best uh, to not do it early on in the day, to do it more later in the day. The reason is is that as you walk around all day, your feet expand and swell. And if you fit shoes when they're the biggest, um, that's better than fitting them when they're the smallest. Because if you fit when it's the smallest, then uh, they put them in the shoe and they walk around all day, their feet swell and now everything's too tight. So uh, you wanna make sure that they're, the, the shoes are appropriate for the activity that they're gonna be doing. Um, uh, making sure that uh, they're, they're good support, uh, you know they're they're not you know too you know terribly worn. Um, making sure that uh, if he's gonna you know go out running, this would be a running style shoe, something uh, um, you know totally you know good for him to be able to do. You want to make sure that uh, they're wearing the socks that they're gonna be uh, wearing in the activity. Uh, we try to recommend at least two pairs of socks uh, to help prevent blisters. Uh, so he's gonna place the shoes um, actually on uh, and tie them up. Uh, so once they're on, there's just a couple of things that we want to be looking for. Uh, and again, it kind of depends on the sporting activity that you're, that you're at. Um, most sports, we want to have um, enough room uh, for kind of the, the big toe to not bump up against the front of the shoe. So one of the things that we really like to do is make sure that there's you know, you know, a good amount of space um, in between the very tip of the toe and the top of the shoe because we don't want that to rub too terribly much. Another thing that we want to do is make sure that when he bends and flexes, there's a crease that goes right um, kind of where the toes and the metatarsals come, that that's in the, an appropriate place. We also want to watch him look, walk around and make sure that the heel doesn't pop up and slide up because that just means that you know the shoe's a little bit too big uh, and it's not fitting super you know, appropriately. So here, um, you know, everything looks good. Looks to be about the right size. Nothing looks too terribly abnormal. Um, if by some reason he starts getting a lot of blisters in a particular area, you might want to look at the shoes and see um, are the shoes in fact causing the blisters and causing the you know the problem. So, um, but generally speaking, you know, all we're looking for is just to make sure that everything uh, that they're the appropriate shoe for the sport um, and that they're looks to be the, the right size and isn't really causing any problems for the particular